Hi, I'm Sean Etchen, and I'm the Flexographic Instructor here at Dunwoody College of Technology. Today, we're going to be talking about press setup. Before you start operating a press, you need to be aware of safety. Remove any jewelry, wear tight-fitting clothing, do not have any earrings, and tie your hair back. These presses can bite, and they can bite hard. But if you're aware of the safety precautions that you need to take, you will walk away with 10 fingers and 10 toes. Before you start, you need to turn on the air and the power. The air for this press is located right over here. Simply press up. And the air will turn on. Then walk to the other side of the press and turn the main power disconnect handle to the on position. Now, remove any rags that might be over the UV stations. Once the rags have been removed, I can now place my paper on the unwind and get it threaded through the press. I want to first start by removing the roll tag. and keeping that. Place it under the magnet at the unwind. Pull out the roll lift so you can roll your roll onto it. Then position your roll so it will unwind from the top. Now this particular roll has a six inch core so we will need to use the core adapter. Simply insert it into the core Now take your roll and roll it onto the unwind roll lift. Using the controls on the unwind roll lift, turn it on, adjust your pressure depending on the size of your roll and push the lever to the up position. Larger rolls like this will require more PSI. Stop the roll lift when the core of the roll aligns with the unwind shaft. And simply slide your roll onto the unwind. Now lower the unwind roll lift by pushing the lever down. Now remove a few wraps of material. There's all kinds of debris from it being on the floor and any nicks in the material could cause a web break. So remove any of that and recycle it if possible otherwise throw it away. Now, mark the center of the roll using a tape measure and a pen. The center of the roll needs to be five inches from the side of the press. So move the roll accordingly. Now that the center of the roll is five inches from the edge of the press, inflate the unwind core holder by flipping the unwind core holder inflate toggle. Now take the lead edge of the roll, bring it under the first idler roll, up to the splicing table, and make sure the splicing table is in servo center. Press the servo center button to put it in the servo center position. Now, inflate both splice clamps. Using a razor blade, 
cut on the splice table to get two good edges of substrate to splice with. Pull the red tape under the splices. Lay them on lay them on the tape. Pull the tape over. Smooth it down and remove any edges. These little wings that I have cut off could get caught in the dryer boxes, so it's important to remove them. Now, deflate the splice clamps, turn on your unwind tension, and turn on your automatic roll shutoff. Now, we're going to want to send the splice through. However, because we just turned the press on, this model has an emergency, emergency stop feature that will allow us not to move it until we reset the emergency stop mode. Do that by pushing the key all the way to the left and flipping it all the way to the right and again to the left, to the right. Now it is out of the emergency stop mode and we can move the press. Grab your substrate, press the white button once and hold. The web will now begin to move and jog enough of the substrate through so you can tape it to the upper rewind and wrap it around three times. Inflate the upper rewind core by turning the toggle up. Tape the substrate to the upper rewind. And wrap it around a few times. Now, it's important to remember to turn the upper rewind tension on by turning this switch to the right position. Now, we're going to go ahead and send the splice through and get tension in the web. Do this by pushing the white button once and then the white and the green button at the same time to put the press into idle. And if you get default saying guard open, there is most likely a guard open that you will need to close. Find the guard that's open. And close it. So let's try this again. Put the press in idle by pressing the white button. And then the white and the green button simultaneously. The press will now begin to move. The press will now begin to move. The first thing you need to do is turn, out, turn on your outfeed pacing nip by turning the outfeed pacing toggle to the on position. When you turn it on, adjust your tension. The, the pressure should be at about 25 PSI on the rewind. After you have adjusted the pressure, walk down the press and center out all of your, your advanced retard knobs on the press. You want to adjust them so that the indicator pin on the is flush with the press frame. As seen here, you do not want it to protrude out, you want it flush. 
walk down the press frame and center out all advanced retard knobs. Turn on your in-feed pacing nip and adjust all of your unwind pressures to be at 20 PSI. Now stop the press by pushing the red button. Now that we have tension in the web, we can do the web guide setup. We're going to use the web guide setup key panel here. First thing we need to do is calibrate the web guide sensors so they can see the material that we're using. You do this by pressing the manual button, the web guide setup key, and you'll notice it starts to flash. We then take the web guide sensors and move them into the field of view and out of the field of view of the substrate. In and out. Then press the manual key again. Now the web guide sensors have been calibrated. The next step to the web guide setup is placing the web guide sen sensors in the correct location. This is done by placing the web guide in servo center again, selecting a web guide by pressing the web guide select key, and moving the web guide until there are no arrows indicated on the web guide setup interface. Once it is located in the proper location, tighten the screw. Press the web guide select button again to select the other web guide. Move that web guide so there are no arrows. Tighten the screw. Press the web guide select key a third time to select both web guides and place the web guide in automatic. Now you're ready to set up for the ink.